For the print and cut operation, I'm just going to do a file import and we're going to bring in a graphic that I'm using. And you may notice that there's already a citation already pre-made or a bunch of words that are already pre-made. And that's just because it's kind of out of scope for this video, but it needs to be part of my design for the plaque I'm making. So I'm just going to rearrange the citation here and then I'm going to walk you through how to do the outline of the eagle and then what kind of features you need to have as part of your print and cut operation. So a couple of the requirements are to create a target position one and a target position two. So this is what they look like. It's really faded, but I'm just going to delete them out of here out of the graphic and then we're just going to go through and recreate them so you know how to do it yourself. So we're going to use the drawing tool here to create a set of crosshairs for our target position points. We're going to create two separate lines. And just a side note, if you hold the shift key, it will lock the direction of the lines left or right or up and down. So select both lines and select the center alignment tool and that will center the lines. And then we're going to draw a circle here. And this is going to be the round part of our target. Now there's no specific dimension that this needs to be. I'm just going to use 0.75 as a reference. So we're going to set our circle to 0.75. And then we're going to center our circle to our crosshairs. Again, this is done by selecting our circle, our lines, and our center alignment tool. Now going into node editing here, if we click the ends of the lines and hit T on our keyboard, it will trim the lines that extend outside that circle. Then I like to ensure that everything is grouped together because what we're going to do here is just do a control D for duplicate and you can also right click and select duplicate and that will create the two target position points that we need. So if you select the image you'll notice that it has a boundary box and we're just going to use the rectangle tool and we're going to create the same box by clicking corner to corner. And This is how we're going to align our target position points. So we're going to grab one point and we're whoop, make sure you're not in the rectangle tool, make sure you're in the selection tool. Grab your target and then grab the center and then just align it on the corner of that rectangle. And we're going to do the same thing with the second target position point here. We're going to grab the target in the center and then we're going to align it in the opposite corner of the rectangle. And then you can just delete the rectangle because we don't need it anymore. So now we're going to trace the boundary of the image here by right clicking and going to trace image. And I apologize for this being upside down, but we're just going to trace the boundary real quick here. Make sure the whole thing is selected. And then we're going to choose trace transparency. And what that does is it puts a line around the whole perimeter of the graphic. It's hard to see, but it is there. So just choose OK and then if I slide it off to the side you can see there's the line. I'll just do a control Z to put it back in place. I'm gonna select the image, I'm gonna delete it. And now I'm gonna pick the boundary of our citation and the boundary of the eagle and then just choose the weld tool and that combines the lines of both pieces. So now I can move the words off to the side or delete it and my graphic is good to go for using print and cut. Now the last thing you want to ensure is that your start from position is in absolute coordinates. This will ensure when I go to start the print and cut wizard in Lightburn that when I go to pick target position 1 and target position 2 that my laser will be perfectly aligned with my image when I go to cut it. Now this is the printed version of our graphic here and you'll see the two target position points. Now when you go to actually create this print You'll need to make sure that the scale is in the same exact size as the one used in Lightburn. Otherwise our image may not cut out right. So I'm going to start the print and cut wizard here under laser tools. And I'm going to move my laser head over the first target point. And once it's in position, I'm going to go ahead and choose the target in Lightburn and select OK. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the second target point, moving the laser head over the target point, and then going back into light burn, selecting the second target, and then selecting OK. You'll get confirmation here once everything turns red and blue, 
and then since everything's scaled to size we're gonna go ahead and choose no scaling and from here you're just gonna input your cut settings for whatever material you're using and making sure you're in absolute coordinates so I'm gonna go ahead and start my cut here but one thing I did want to point out earlier is that when you go to create your boundary for your image you actually have the option to offset that boundary slightly just to cover some of the discrepancies with some of the target position alignment uh, in my case I didn't want to offset because otherwise I might cut off some of those feathers that you see there alright so here's the finished product we're gonna go ahead and pull this eagle out you'll notice that the bottom of that white box was trimmed off and that's okay that's just because the eagle wasn't printed on a full sheet of whiteboard but looking at the eagle itself you can see that it was cut out perfectly no white edges from that material I would say this is a success alright guys so the print and cut feature can be a pretty powerful tool it can take you from something like this right to a finished product like this so in my case, I poured epoxy over the eagle and made a plaque out of it. So keep in mind, this is just how I do my print and cut. There are several different ways to use it. If you want to use your pass through on your laser, it'll allow you to line up your graphics or your images that way as well. So if you guys like this type of content, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any questions. And then until then, we'll see you guys next time.